Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is add world rotation. Let's see how quickly we can go through this and cover all the important things. Let's hit play, and we have a little guy. Oh, he's stuck in the crowd. I guess it's not going to be that quick. Let's fix him. So our little guy needs to go up a little bit, and we'll hit play again. So, take two. We have our little guy who's standing here. We're going to add some rotation in the world to one of the scene components. If we look at how I have this set up, I'm targeting the little guy's body. So let's add... Let's add 15 degrees on the Z. And you notice the little guy's body rotates. It's pretty simple. We'll move him back to the normal position. Uh, I think that's it. Let's see. Body. Rotation negative 90. Yep, my guy's facing me. So, the world rotation version of this node, as opposed to the relative or the actor version or the local version, basically means we're always going to use the world coordinate system. The world coordinate system is simple. Z is up. X is one direction and Y is the other direction, or X is left and right, Y is forward or backwards, and Z is up or down. And that will stay constant, no matter what your character's rotated like. So, let's go back to rotating on the Z. And our little character rotates on the Z. And he's rotating around the center, and you can see his arms are moving like that. Now, if we were to take and adjust the actual rotation of, let's say, the roots. And let's rotate it 30 degrees on the Z. So now we're tilted. If we were using the local version or the relative version of the rotation, it's going to rotate based along the new local version. Or it's going to rotate where the up is pointing where his head is. However, since we're using the world version, and I hit enter, well now you notice it gets all disconnected. We're still using the vertical up to rotate this item. No matter what I rotate, let's go with 78 degrees. The rest of this, my Z will always remain vertical, like my character is here. And this rotational value that I'm adding will always be along the top. You can see it basically spinning around a pole right down the middle. Let's look at the node. Hopefully you understand how it works. Should be pretty simple. Add world rotation is exactly what it is. We're adding a rotation in the world coordinate system to a scene component. So our target will be a scene component or part of an actor that has a transform value, in our case a body. We're adding a delta rotation or how much positive or negative are we adding to the current rotation value. Keep in mind because it's the delta and we're adding, positive values will be positive and negative will be added. You'll just get the negative result. So you go plus or minus based on Plus or minus. Very simple. Vectors can be split. Well, technically it's a rotator, but it's a three-digit struct. It can be split. Or we can recombine it. And then we can either sweep, which does not work because we're rotating. Because sweep does not work, the sweep hit result does not work. So basically you can ignore these two values. Or we can teleport. Teleport simple. If you want to have something rotate, in this case, a large value. Do you want the physics to go crazy? Yes or no? Yes, I want the physics to go crazy. So we don't want to teleport it. No, I want it actually to transfer its rotation instantly. And I want physics to completely ignore the rotation. Then we want to teleport it from one location to another. We'll check teleport. Those are hidden by default, as you can see here. So you may not notice them. Actually, if we unhook this, it hides the output as well. So this is the default for the world rotation node. And like I mentioned before, we have a few other versions for rotation. Adding the actor, which rotates the whole thing, or the relative and local version, which do not respect the Z always being up. It'll be based on how it's currently rotated. And that's it. That's going to be our node. It's going to wrap it up. Basically, if you need to rotate something always in the same direction in world space, as in always along a Z that's always basically vertical, no matter what the current orientation is, use the add world rotation node and make sure you target something that you want to rotate.